very generous. Um, this is, um, the, the more you know Arnold, Matthew Arnold's Dover Beach, so the more this might resonate, I don't know. It's called when the, Mo when the Moon Goes Away from Dover Beach. Some love the sound of the ocean, the tides rippling over pebbles, the hiss of waves on sand, the grating roar of breakers, its endless ebb and restless flow. But one day soon the moon will move away, and the oceans will come slowly to a standstill, leaving a melancholy, long, withdrawing silence. The sea will be calm tonight and every night. Those placid acres, that darkling plain's taut surface, whose leaden water hangs like mercury. When the intrusive moon is gone, inconstant, in the end, faithless, the wind and sea will be alone at last, and we will become expert in the new shapes into which wind moves tideless water. Demosthenes, long ago, mouthful of stones, would have faced no challenge from this turbid sea, and into Sophocles' mind the, ebb, the lack of ebb and flow would bring again his certainty that love alone can free us from all the weight and pain of life, and by this distant northern shore dissolve the grief we cause ourselves, searching for absent waves on this featureless plain. Ah, love, come, let us walk along the unchanging shoreline. The flat water looks as though its surface could hold us up if we had faith. The black heads of seals poke through its membrane, then return to their buried life, benumbed with the incurious fish. Give me your hand. The moonless sky, the heavy waters, can bring calm to minds no longer unsettled by the restless sea. <laughs>